Ashley poll, and it found that. Hey. All right, unboxing, smart madness. We're hoping that it comes with the uh, screws, and we'll be totally all set. If not, we'll have to go hunt down some screws, which will take a little extra time. But so package looks like it arrived. Typical FedEx, a couple of dings and crushes here and there, but uh, hopefully everything okay. Be careful with your knife, there may be parts right at the top of the box. Luckily we weren't deep with that. And here they are. Good to go. Houston, we have a match. Oh, look at that. Nice. That's going to look super effing awesome. This was an excellent upgrade, I think. Hopefully you guys can see everything without a box top in the way there. Which I think will be cool. Looks like everything necessary. Just like the picture shows to get mounted where they need to go here oh now final question did we get a hardware kit now immediately it looks like no however don't forget to search your packaging because lo and behold ding ding they give you a set of cool screws to uh Get it mounted, that's super. Yep, they have the hex end. I believe I have this tool that will fit those. Harbor Freight, six bucks. And uh, on to disassembling the interior. I know this comes out straight out. Let's see if we can just pull it out. Don't panic, they say. Just plug that back in, and that's kind of good. We can uh, get some beach sand off of this thing, or dust, or whatever's collected on there. Twenty second. So we, we they don't, have the full lineup. You don't know the price of tickets, all right, Jim? Yeah. They don't know how the packages are going to yeah. fit together. But again, all right, not too hard. People. Not so much, but they've got the. Definitely don't lose the screw down there and you are pretty much out of the woods from here let's hope we don't break any plastic but it's a day where the Sun is making the interior nice and toasty so I see to go up here so our fingers did get underneath it pretty easy yeah it seems to be unbuckling there that felt like a little off there but that was all right and that was all right and uh just as they said about four clips up here two pops two pops and then 
coming straight out of here are two other clips that have come undone. Keep leaning it forward and you've got the bezel out. And uh, yeah, all intact. All the plastic on this car seems unusually uh, robust for all the snapping and unsnapping it does. Pretty awesome here, so that was pretty easy. So as they said, you'll have a, uh, you want to plug this cable into down here will be a wiring harness, but it may be way down in there. All right, as you see here, still have everything um, unbolted, not put back in, but the gauges are in, as you can see there. Sorry for the blinding sunlight there. We're going to do a first startup to see if everything works. I don't know if we have any movement from that clock, but uh, let's see what the tack will do. We've got the wiring hooked up, if you can see inside of there. We've got the wiring hooked up, clipped into place. So let's see, we had to fish it out from the harness that was this harness all the way on the edge here. Just had to pull the wiring back. There's the loom there. It was folded all the way down against itself and taped to itself, but if you pull it back really hard. Looking pretty good. It looks like it idles a little faster than a thousand RPM, but it is only 54 degrees outside, so. Looking very good. I'm sure when the car warms up it idles down and now I can tell what RPM I'm really at when I shift. And of course you can know the time right here. So that's a little redundant but you can always put something else in there or just use it as the clock right now so pretty good. I just saw it move to a minute, so I guess that was pretty good. Okay, so the only modification we have left to do is notch out. Here is the plastic cover for the radio, and if you want it to sit properly back down on the dashboard, You've got to make some clearance for the plastic that connects to the pods that's slipping out from underneath this plate. So they give you some cutouts on the plastic. Oh, I think you can see them right there. One there and one there. So we're just going to try to trim those out using a razor knife and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I just did this little notch with this pretty cool cobalt cutter. Um, not even a fresh blade. I was pretty easily able to press down in the middle of the blade to make a nice complete cut straight down. Then on the inside I scored a line along the mark that they give you. And once I scored a nice good sized razor cut in there it all just was able to fold over and break a nice line on the other side which I also just uh, gave a little edge uh, tip of the blade cut to and got that to cut out and this one is about to do the same thing I've got the sides cut and I've got the back cut here so 
pretty much, as you see here, just turns white at the crease. Begins to break on this side. And it, it may be going a little higher than I want it to. So right now what I'm going to do is, it seems to be going up at an angle here. A little higher than I want. So I'm just going to give it a little cut here. A little lower. Just a little bit. To coax it uh, to break on the right line. So let's do that. Alright, so here we are. Ready to seal the deal. Put the cover back on our newly trimmed cover. Let's hope we didn't trim too much, but we trimmed right on the specified lines that were already marked out on the original plastic there. And uh, see if we can get this thing. Looking like a factory install. And then we'll put our uh, cool little matching covers just to look all slick and cool. Okay, well, we ended up getting everything installed and working. And here, let's just have a look at some before pictures of a smooth, plain dashboard, missing a tachometer. Not very sporty. Waiting for the new gauge pods. So now here we are just after install. Waiting to uh, snap on the trim rings. And there you have it. So aside from a mild bit of over trimming on the bezel, the install was straightforward, totally easy, and totally awesome. The gauges look great, and I can't wait to uh, be able to see the engine speed as I get through the gears going down the road, which is going to happen with that new tachometer, all from Smart Madness. And I'll leave you with the only picture I took from outside the car, which doesn't show a close-up of the bezel, but it doesn't really matter. It's not that... Uh, big of a deal. Here is uh, the final results. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or anything in the comment section below. Please remember to like and subscribe and uh, have a great day.